Okay, hello and welcome back. This is day four of this Vauxhall Bavaro camper van conversion. And today we're putting these windows in. I've got two side windows and two windows for the back door. First thing I'm going to do is just open up this box, make sure everything's there, make sure the windows are good, and then we'll get started. So first of all, we have this one, which is a static window. I know no opening and this one is for the side door and this one is an opening window which we have for the driver's side of the van and they seem to be good there doesn't seem to be a fixing kit in here but that may be in the other package right we have our uh, channel here and a knock on trim as they call it and here we should have the two back windows. They are looking good and intact. And in these, I'm assuming, is the fixing kit. Yes. So we have two tubes of the adhesive in there. So a bit of luck. We'll have another two tubes in there, which we do. So we're good. Okay, we're going to do this panel first. And the very first thing to do with that is just give it a good clean, get any grease off it. So that when it comes to putting the um, adhesive on, it'll have a good bond. And then the next thing I like to do with this is just put a sheet on to mask it. Because there is going to be quite a lot of shards of metal coming out of here. And I don't want it to stick to the side of the van and rust later. So I'm just going to stick this cloth over here and then mask it right along that seam. That should do it. I put a couple on the bottom just to stop it from flapping about in the wind. And I've just stuck the cloth in here to stop any of the shards of metal going down into the door. Uh, the rest of it we will give a very good hoover once we've got this window out, or once we've got all the windows done. I'll hoover the whole van, get up any of those shards of metal. 3 mil drill, and I'm going to drill holes all the way around here. Not all the way around, but certainly on the corners and along the top sections. And that will mark it out on the other side. We can then draw around that and cut it out with a jigsaw. So here we go. Alrighty, so I've drilled those holes and I've put a few larger ones in just to get the jigsaw started. Now I'm just taking a marker pen and a rule and I'm going to join all of those holes up and this will give us our cutting line. Okay, so I've got my jigsaw. I've put a bit of cardboard on the bottom of it there just to protect the rest of the paint. Uh, I've got a brand new metal blade in there. And I'm going to start here and work my way around this way to the top. Wish me luck. Been round up with the grinder just to take it right down to the same as the inside skin and it's a little bit high here so I'm just going to take that off now the next thing we want to do with that is just take any burrs off and I'm just going to use a file for that so there is one more thing to prep on this before we actually stick the window in and that is this groove here, if you can see that. Um, here we'll have some of the sealant right up to the groove. And what we're using here is a single skin knock on trim, right? So it's only going on this here and it won't go in there. So I'm going to take a Stanley knife and just separate that and see if I can hawk out this uh, sealant wherever it may appear around window and with that done I'm just looking for anywhere where the two skins are too close together to put the single trim on and if that occurs anywhere I'm just going to pull that forwards a bit and then we'll knock all that back in once we get the trim on with the hole in the door last thing we want to do is just give that another clean round 
make sure we get any little birds of metal off there any dust from the grinder etc so this primer is very runny stuff and you've got to be very careful with it otherwise it'll drip all over the place what we want to do is put a line of that just a little bit away from the side of the van and then cover this area with the primer and also cover any exposed metal here with it as well okay so that is well covered I've covered all of the exposed metal with it and we just need to leave that to dry now this stuff here is extremely viscous and the best bet is to stick it in some warm water a while before you're going to use it so I'm going to pop it in this bucket of warm water I'm going to have a cup of coffee Alrighty, so I've finished my coffee and the stuff has been in the bucket for about five minutes so the very next thing we want to do with this is use this alcohol wipe which is supplied with the fixing kit just to make sure that this ceramic surface where we're going to put the um, adhesive is entirely grease free and clean now we've got our sealant out of the water and I'm just going to open the top of that with a screwdriver there it is a very old screwdriver it will be quite claggy with this comes this um, shaped nozzle a certain way to use this which I'll show you in a moment and we want to position this so that as we squirt it out it leaves that sort of shape um, so the V of the nozzle is facing you as you're doing it yes and we want to start we want to do this about an inch away from the side all the way around we want a continuous bead of this and I'm going to start here because this is the top and I'm going to start here and then I'll join up again when we get to the other side I'm good now the theory is take the window line it up and push it on and the thing I'm interested in here is do we have a good line with that door and there we do so I'm going to push that on knock it in And when I'm happy with the position of that, which I am, we'll take these little lugs of tape and bring them down to hold that in place. That line is good. Okay, now same procedure on the other side, I'm going to get on with that. The back doors are slightly different, so I'll come back and uh, video what I'm doing with the back doors. There's a slightly different way of taking the panel out. Okay, so that's number two. Window number two is in, and the sun is up to date. It's really nice. Now, for the back doors, we want to take this out first. Now, this is put in with a few spot welds here, uh, so we need to drill through them, then pull this out, and then same procedure drill through here cut the panel out stick the window on so i'm just going to stick a little pilot hole through them first and then we'll drill the whole thing out okay and with them drills that should just pry off which again we'll just pull off and a whole little more sawing later the back windows are on the side window is on and the sliding door window is on this is good I'm doing well today now next thing that we're going to do get up on the roof and put the solar panel on okay so to put the solar panel on there's a few things we're going to need we've got the panel itself this is a 120 watt uh, solar panel we have the brackets to fix it on which i have sprayed the same color as the van and we have this where the wires will come through the roof uh, we have some bolts, some cable ties, a drill, and we've got some of this grey 
522, Cicaflex 522. That should be enough. Now, what we're going to do first of all is get up on top of the van and give it a good clean. At the centre of the roof here, we see that the panel is 96 divided by 2, that gives us 48. So we want this to sit 48 away from that centre mark. I'm going to drill a hole through here and through the roof and I'm going to bolt this on. I am putting it on with a Sikaflex uh, 522, but belt and braces, it's not a bad idea to put a bolt through there also. Now I'm just going to put a pilot hole through here. So the next bracket is going to sit about there, this sort of position. So we're going to clean up this area, it's a little bit grubby there. This roof isn't so bad actually, it's not that bad at all, but anywhere where we're going to put the sealant or Sikaflex at this point, we want to give it a good clean before we do that. Okay, so I've got this next one on here, and what I'm going to do is just clean that off. Okay, here we have the panel, and we just want to see if we can get that fitted in there. That is a nice snug fit. As I say, just a couple of self-tappers through the side of this. We'll hold it on. Now I'm going to put this uh, entry box just here, next to the bracket. And what I'll do with that is just uh, mark it here. Then we're going to drill a pilot hole. And then take the rest of it out with this stepped bit. Stop the wires from um, getting split on the bare metal. That's it there. Point I'll put these cables in. Obviously, these want to go through these glands first and then through the hole we've just drilled. And we can feed them right the way through into the van. Okay, they are looking good. Now we just want to make the connections here. In there and there is indeed only one way to do these um, this one will go on here and the live will go on there right now we pull those as tight as we can get them and as I say my idea here is just to drill a couple of holes here put a cable tie in underneath to keep them stop them from rattling on the roof And there it is, the solar panel is on. Now the last thing I wanted to do today was just put the mains hook up in around here somewhere on the van. And that will be the majority of the external work completed. And for this we want a rough placement for it um, where we can get it close to the consumer unit inside the van. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside and drill a pilot hole through in the position where I want it. We've got this hole here and then we just want to take that out with the appropriate sized hole saw. We want to be careful with this. Don't want to scratch the van at all. Eventually. Now this should be a good fit in that hole, which it is. So I'm going to clean this up, drill the pilot holes for the screws, and then we've got four self-tappers in here, and we're good. Alrighty, so we have that in. Now we're just going to have to eyeball it for square because there's not much around here which is square but that doesn't look too bad there actually so I'm going to put a pilot hole in this bottom one and we'll put this up 
cutler in there. Oops, nearly. There it is. And that is looking okay to me. Right, other three screws, job done. Alrighty, that's good progress today. Um, that is it for day four. And what we've managed to do, just have a look at my uh, list of things to do here. Um, this was yesterday, we've got the sub flow in and all of this done. Uh, windows, we've cut the panels out, grind and file them down, fit the windows. Solar panel, we've fit the brackets, fit the panel and run the wires through. And put the external mains hook up in. And I didn't put the wire in, but I can do that later. That's okay. That's a good day. Once more, can I say, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see how the rest of this build transpires, do consider subscribing to the channel. Lots more videos of this nature to come. Next day is day five, and I believe on day five we get started with the first fix electrics onto the insulation and panelling. This should be fun.